Everything should be working now. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's see, you should be able to hear me now. Uh, Twitch. Somewhere. Uh, yeah, no, no Twitch, man. I think I'm going to go fully on YouTube now. Uh, at least for when I do MCOC. Because uh, I'll be doing Marvel Con as the Champions after this. So I think I'm going to just keep it full on on YouTube now. Because I feel like I grow more that way. What's up, Carlos? All right, guys, let's get started. So I have a bunch of stuff. This is this is the last. This is going to be the last opening for a while. Exam and Pokemon card. Let's go. But yeah, dude, this is going to be the last one for a while. So I have, I have this. It's like five packs in here. Buy cards from Super Special Awesome at Frankenstein's. I do, I do get some from Frankenstein's. Buy from my boy Paco for sure. Yeah, let me. Uh, I'll for sure, I'll for sure do that. Yeah, I'm opening up this today. I got this from Best Buy. Opening up this, so I'll have a total of like, I think let's see, eight, eleven. I'll have a total of fourteen. Tell them you know me. All right, for sure, I will totally do that because I go to Frankenstein's quite a bit and I get, I get some cards from there. So I'm going to be opening up those first. I have about 14 of those packs. And then I'll be opening up Sh a Shining Fates tin. Shining Fates Bolt Town that I had. I totally forgot that I had. And then we're going to finish it off by opening up these Japanese uh, Matchless Fighter packs. The one that just came out. All we need is Articuno. We have Zapdos and we have Moltres. 
if we can pull Articuno from these packs, I will be super happy. So let's go in and get started. We're going to open up this thing first because I want to see what's in here. Alright. So let's see what's in here. I don't even know what's in here. Oh, dang, dude, this is pretty cool. These big old Pokemon coins, that's pretty cool. We got the Tepig and the Shinx Hollow, pretty cool. I'll put these to the side. And then we have five. Pa oh, what the heck? So we have Battle Styles, Vivid Voltage, Sun and Moon, and Sword and Shield. I thought this was all Battle Styles. Dude, these are actually pretty sick. I did not know that. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. If I would have known that, I would have got like more than one of these back then. Because I thought it was only Battle Styles. This is pretty sick. Uh, don't show it on stream, but did you see the pic of my setup in Discord general chat? No, I ha I'll, have to check I'll have to check it out. I have not seen it. Dude, we got some stickers. That Tyranitar sticker. Dude, these stickers are pretty sick. We got some more stickers. We have this little, like, pad. And we have this little card book, but you're, you don't want to put your cards in this. It's, it's kind of trash. Okay. Alright, well, that's pretty cool, man. We're gonna start putting. We're gonna put our bulk in here from now on. But yeah, that was that's pretty cool, man. So we're gonna we're gonna save the battle styles for after, okay? So battle styles will go with the battle styles over here. So we're gonna have actually eight battle styles packs to open. Let's see. Yeah, eight battle styles packed, and then we have these. We have Sun and Moon, Sword and Shield, and Vivid Voltage. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do Sun and Moon first. This is gonna be fun, guys. Oh, you know what? Let me put on that that Pokemon music I did last time. Let's see. Sorry, these ads. I'm gonna wait out the ads. Alright, let me know if it's too loud, guys. Let me know if it's too loud. Alright, so let's get started on this first pack. Hydrogen coin over Doge Dogecoin? Yeah, dude, 100%. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, Straight taking a stroll on the beach. Cutie Fly, Makuta, Snubble, Reverse Hollow Pharaoh, and a Cloister. So we got a short and sword and shield pack right here. One, two, three, four. 
Oh, one, two, three. We got fighting. Okay. Feral Thorn. Crushing Hammer. Kingler. Wulu. Sobble. Pincher. Blipbug. Rhyhorn. Reverse Hollow Santa Cana. That's a pretty cool card. And then our big card. Whimsicott. Whack. Alright, we have a voltage, dude. We can actually get a Charizard from this. Let's, let's go. Two, three, four. We get something cool. All right, so one, two, three. We're gonna go fire, water. Dang, opposite. My cargo. Drone Rotom. Swoobat. Cottony. Aracuda. Nankata. Picky Peck. Puccina A. Reverse Hall of Stone Energy. That's whack, dude. And then our card. Is a Garb oh, Garbodor dude. Get some scissors? What do you need me to get scissors for? What did I need scissors for? Remember, I needed scissors for something last time. What was it? I don't remember what the scissors were for last time. Okay, so we got two battle styles packs. Now the battle styles begins. All right, so we want the full art trainers, or we want um that Tyranitar alternate art, the one where he looks like he's sleeping. Hey, Mr. King, what's up, Mr. King? Open the packs? No, dude, you don't. You do not want to use scissors to open up the packs. You just open them like this. Alright. I've never seen anybody use scissors. I would lose it if I accidentally co cut a card, a good card. One, two, three, four. Phoebe? Oh, yeah, the Phoebe? Dude, that'd be sick. Alright, guys. Oh, one, two, three. We're gonna go leaf. Water. Okay. Luxio, Durant, Perugli, Spoink, Bronzer, Tepig, Pachirisu, Mindfu, Reverse Hollow, Urn of Vitality. Ugh. I learned some anime, but should be asleep by now. 4 a.m. Oh no. And our big card is a clay doll. My god, dude. We're starting off pretty bad already, guys. Starting off pretty bad. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Fire energy. Ready? Electric. All right. More Pico. Tool Jammer, Bruxish, Fomantis, Sparrow, Zubat. Hey, look at that Zubat. It's like a crochet Zubat. Cubone, Frillish, Reverse Hollow Carnivine. That's pretty cool. And then our big card is. Yes! Let's go! That Tyranitar V. Hell yeah, dude. This is one of the cards I really wanted. Hell yeah. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Tyranitar V. Let's freaking go, guys. That's a pool. That's a pool for tonight. 
Good luck with the pack stream. I'll just end this so my episode and go to bed. No worries, man. Thanks for the good luck, dude. Alright, so we got three blisters. All right. Hey, let me do this. I'm going to put all the trash behind me. One, two, three, four. So we got the tap. One, two, three. And we're going to go fire. Steel. Okay, steel. Luxio. Durant. Looking for that BB secret? Dude, that'd be sick. Perugly. Glamiao. Courtfish. Scatterbug. Cubone. Murkrow. Reverse Hollow Frillish. And let's go. Empoleon V. Dude, this one's actually pretty sick. Is this the normal? No, this is the alternate art, right? The full art Empoleon V. This one's pretty sick, man. Centering is not very good on the back. Still pretty good. So freaking super dope card, dude. I love the colors on this card. Sick. That's, another, that's a good one, dude. That's another pull. Two in a row, dude. That's pretty good for, for battle styles. With its incredibly low pull rates. Dude, the, the, the tap is coming through, man. One, two, three, four. All right. Tap. One, two, three. Electric. Psychic. Damn. More Pico. Dual Blade. Cheryl. Mr. Mime. Fomantis. Sparrow. Zubat. Cubone. Reverse Hollow Col Col Colossal. And then our last card is a Hollow Sanaconda. All right. Back to reality here, guys. Back to reality. Back to freaking reality. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Then we're gonna go electric. Fire. The one time I don't say fire. Ready? Tool Jammer. Gold Bat. Glyscore. Let's go. Putting that aside. Because I like Glyscore. Glyscore is super dope. Finally got the Glyscore card. Tepig. Hone Edge, Electabuzz, Ball Toy, Gligar A, Gligar and the Gliscor, Silly Cobra, Reverse Hollow, and we got a pool, guys. Tapu Coco V. I don't really like the Tapus, to be honest. I don't care for them. I don't really care for them, but that's a pool. Yeah, I don't really care for the tapus. All right, now we got this bad boy to open. Let's 
A shaman coin, I believe. We're gonna sleeve this. That's an Eevee promo hollow. So looking for them full arts. One, two, three, four. I forgot to do the tap. All right, let's see if the tap really works, guys, because I didn't tap this time. Grumpig, Luxio, Sp Spoopa, Remoraid, Onyx, Mawile, Cherubi, Pakarisu, Reverse Hollow Tile of Waters, and Lorantis. Yep, the tap, the tap for sure works, guys. Because <laughs> we didn't get anything that one. Four. One, two, three. Electric energy. Boom. Dude, we got the extra luck here, guys. We got the extra luck here. Heat more. Pharaoh. Yeah. Escape rope. Mr. Mime. Scatterbug. Yomper. Lickitung. Zubat. Reverse Hall of Seizure. This is a pretty cool card. And a Licky Licky. That's dumb. Yeah, we had extra luck on that one. We didn't have we didn't get a pull. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Water. Leaf. Okay. Here we go. Cacturn. Rapid Strike Energy. EXP Share. Frillish. Blipbug. Roly Coley. Chimiko. Onyx. Reverse Hollow Aegislash. And our card is a Hollow Luxray. This is a pretty sick card. This this will get a sleeve. I got a bunch of sleeves right now anyway, so might as well. So that does it for the battle styles of the night. Now we're on to this. All right, Shining Fates, dude. This is a sick one. Let's get this. Promo out of here. Nice. I have the Bulltown Full Art Shiny too, I believe, already. I'm not sure if it's the same card or not. Let me see. I'm not sure if it's the same. I'll check at the very end. They might be the same card. One just has a little promo sticker. 
Hey, use the code cards. Nice, dude. I haven't shown any code cards this stream because I actually think I'm going to actually use my code cards. Here, look. You can have this code card. You can have the shiny Bulltown V. Go ahead, take it. Go ahead and take that one. We have how many six packs? Cool, this is another one that'll get some bulk love over here. Alright, so what packs we got? We got the Corviknight, we got this one, this one, this one. Alright, this is the order we're gonna go. The Corviknights, Toxicity, the Dragapult, and then the Charizard. These ones are the hype packs, guys. Shining Fates are hype packs. Point of the pack. You got a Ditto VMAX? Nice, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So one, two, three. Let's go. Electric. Let's go. We got electric. Let's go. Team Yaltao, Dwacky, Tropius, Spinarak, Rowlet, Morpico, Nicket, Eevee, Yanma, and a Luxray Hollow. We got a Luxray Hollow right here too, right? Yeah, Battle Styles of the Luxray Hollow as well. All right, we're on our next pack. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and then we're gonna go fire. Water, okay. Rusted Sword, Luxio, Thwacky. Trap Inch, Weasel, Coughing, Shinx, Grookey. Hey! A shiny Sizzle P. Let's go! And our last card is a Frost Moth Hollow. Nice. That shiny Sizzle P is pretty sick. I got the sleeve. I actually like Sizzle P. I don't, I don't know why people hate on Sizzle P, but I like Sizzle P. Luxury is really cool. Yeah, Luxury is super dope. My TCG account is seven years old and I redownloaded it late, lately for some nostalgia. Nice, dude. Frostmoth, I don't think that deserves a hollow, uh, sleeve. I only, I only sleeve Luxray hollows because I actually like Luxray. Luxray is pretty sick. So, so far, one shiny tonight, guys. Pretty good. Pretty freaking good. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three taps, and we're gonna go water. Can I see the sizzle peed? Yeah. Okay, let's see. This is a sizzle peed. Alright, so we said water. Fighting, of course. Timmy Altao, Rusted Shield, Aldegas, Buizel, Spinarak, Shinx, Coffin, Horsey. Oh, we got the amazing rare Reshiram, dude. This is a pool. This is a super sick pool, guys. This is dope. Amazing Blaze of the Attack. And our final card is Yanmega. 
This is a dope pool, guys. The Amazing Rare Reshiram. Let's go. This is a dope card, man. Dude, we're... We're getting a lot of sick pulls tonight, guys. I didn't get the alt art for the Tyranitar, but I got Tyranitar, which is the only card I really wanted from Battle Styles. So I'm so glad that I'm retiring from Battle Styles and I have the Tyranitar. Not the Tyranitar that I wanted, but at least a Tyranitar. Because your boy is not getting any more... Um, battle styles. One, two, three, four. Wow, that restaurant card is so cool. Just 270 damage. Yeah, the amazing rares are pretty good, man. One, two, three. And then we're going to go electric. Dark energy. All right. Ready? Let's go. Thwacky. Rotom. Rusted Sword, Qfent, Gossifleur, Snom, Coughing, Cacnea, Aldegoss, Reverse Hollow, and a Decidueye Hollow. I like Decidueye, so we are going to we are going to sleeve this bad boy because I, I I dig Decidueye a lot. We got two packs left, guys. One, two, three, four. All right. One, two, three taps. And we're going to go. Fire. Do I play the game or just collect? I just collect. Fire. And fire, dude. We got the extra luck here, guys. Come on. We can do this. Fire. Rusted Shield. Rotom. Cramorant. Trap Pinch. Yanma. Coughing. Or Pico. Horsey. Reverse Hollow Buizel. And a Dreadnought. Dude. Sad. Sad. Let me put all these away. We have one more. We have one more pack to go. I just want to clean this area up a little bit. More pack to go for the English set, and then we have the Japanese ones. Waiting for the Charizard pull? Yeah, dude, we need that Charizard, man. I have not pulled a Charizard from any set yet. And I've opened up quite a bit of cards, man. So a Charizard here would set me off. I think we got a pull here. I kind of leaked it. One, two, three, four. All right, so one, two, three. We're going to go fire again, guys. Charizard coming. Steel. All right. Last pack for Shining Fates. Rusted Sword. Dartrix. Ball Guy. Trap Inch. Nicket. Gossifleur. Cacnea. Qfent. All right. This could this could be a Shiny here. Waiting for a Shiny Snorlax pull. Waiting for a Togepi pull. Can I pull Togepi? Shinx Reverse Hollow? Ugh. Come on. Alright, we got something here, guys. We got something here. And we got Cramoran V. Oh, my God. I guess this gets a sleeve. Dude. Why is Cramoran a Pokemon? Whack. Whack, I say. Whack. Alright, guys. We got the three... Matchless Fighter Japanese card packs, okay? Only really card I really want from this 
is either the Blaziken alternate art or the Articuno. Just messing around? Oh, okay. Alright, guys. Let's go. These ones, I kind of need scissors. I mean, man, that's freaking hard to open. Here, let me see. I'll probably open it this way. Yeah, I gotta open it from the bottom. Didn't I already have Cramer? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I have cram that Cramer on already. That's why I'm kind of like salty about that pull. Now that I have two of them. Dude, these, these um, Japanese packs are really hard to open. Okay. So I think it's one here. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to go one, two, three. Uh, there's no, there's no energy, but we got the three lucky tap. All right. So we got, I always forget the name of this Pokemon. I always forget the name of this Pokemon. Woobat? Woobat. Uh, Chinchu, Roly 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 Coly, Dally Bird, come on, Articuno, hey, I got the Rushifu, I forgot what these are called, I think this is a single strike, and these are not hollow cards, they're like, they're, they only, these, these kind of cards only come in the Japanese style, I forgot what, it's like full, full hollow, I don't remember what it's called. This this is deserves a sleeve. This is pretty cool. Another matches fighter still hunting that Articuno. Then I'll have all three of the birds. Oh, it's Swoobat. That's the name. God, these packs are, are hell to open. Okay. So one here. So one, two, three. Let's go. Dude, this Kakuna, this Kakuna is so cool. That Kakuna is so cool. Dally Bird. Uh, Lantern, I think. Uh, I always forget his name. And the last card is a rune, a Galar Runeringus. Forgot the name. It's like a, they're called Full Hollows, I think. It's all right, dude. It's so weird because before this, the only two packs I opened, I got both Galar birds. I all I need is Articuno. I got literally Moltres and uh, Zapdos back to back. I was really hoping I would get Arnakuno back to back, or get Arnakuno straight off the bat. It didn't look like it's happening. Alright. Last pack of the night, guys. Literally the last pack of the night. One, two, three. Come on. Articuno or that blaze again. I have no idea what this is. Passimian? Yeah, Passimian. I have no idea what this card is though. This is Woobat. This is Woobat. Breveri. Uh Golis Pod. And last card, guys, tonight. Ah, oh, we didn't get it. We got uh, a rapid strike. Uh, what's his name? Drizzle. Rapid strike drizzle. Damn, guys. Didn't get the Articuno, but it's okay. So let's look at the cards we got, the pulls we got tonight. So we got the Galar. 
the Galarian Runeringus, the Full Hollow, uh, Single Strike or Rapid Strike or Shifu, Cramorant V, Hollow Decidueye, the Amazing Rare Reshiram, which is a dope pool, the Shiny Sizzlepeed, which I like a lot, Luxray Hollow, we got the Bolan Hunt promo. Luxray Hollow, Eevee Promo Hollow, Tapu Koko V, Empoleon V. I think this is the alternate art. Or the Empoleon V full alternate art, Rapid Strike. And then a Tyranitar V, my favorite card of the night. Right there, guys. All right. Give me one second. Just to let you know. Thank you. Oh, to close out the video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content. It's going to be probably a while before I upload another video. I'm going to be waiting for Chilling Rain to come out. I might throw a video in here and there till Chilling Rain comes out. But when Chilling Rain comes out, we're going all in. Uh, we'll have two Elite Trainer boxes like right off the bat. So I am super excited for Chilling Rain, guys. Uh, until then, I will see you all next time. All right, so that ends the video. Let me, let me just uh, clean up, and then we're going to jump on over to MCOC, guys. All right, let me do this scene. Okay. this way
Oh, okay. Close that. Let me jump into my All right, let's get into abyss prep. Let me check the key real quick before we get started. Let's see, biohazard, okay, we're good. Uh, I love my new lanes in AQ, man. I hated my lanes in my old alliance. I should kill him. Yeah. Can I deal with this domino? I'm not even sure if I can deal with this domino. Man, I don't really need my Apocalypse anymore. I could probably throw Apocalypse at her. I don't need Apocalypse anymore anyways. Hey, what's up, Brennan? How you doing today? Pretty good, just plugging away at AQ right now. Nice. Yeah, I'm, uh, I've had you open the whole time, but I'm on my tablet right now. Oh. Uh, I can't, I can't really, uh, live chat on my tablet for some reason. I know where he's, dude. Yeah, so, 
I've, I've been here in moral support, but uh, let me know <laughs> if you uh, hear any of like my game that I'm playing right now. Okay, yeah, no, I don't really hear anything right now. Alright, cool. Okay, AQ has been done. Dude, I love the I love my lanes in AQ right now, dude. Really? Yeah, like <laughs> I had like really shitty lanes on my old alliance. And mm -hmm. right now I have like pretty straightforward lanes that are pretty much all biohazard or bleed lanes. Mm hmm And that's pretty much the only only difficult thing. And I'm only not able to really use Ghost right now because of Cascading Failure. Sometimes I'll get armor broken, but after today, Ghost is going to just destroy most of this. Yeah. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm already done with all three of my lanes. Oh, really? Yeah, take a look at BG2. <laughs> Let's see. We're, we're zooming. Oh yeah, you yeah, guys are already seventy four percent. Yeah. Oh my they're god. Bit, they're a bit crazy in the main chat too. <laughs> <laughs> we should we should be in tier three by the end of the night. As long as uh some people move, we should be fine. Yeah. Yeah. That might not always happen. Yeah. Th th there's potential you can move to BG two in the future. For sure, for sure. That's that's like the the fastest BG for everything. Sweet, I like that. I could possibly open up a six star tonight too. Um, if I can get good RNG on the contest of realms side side quest, because the past like three times I've done it, I haven't gotten any shards for like even five star. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this side event. Yeah, it's 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 booty cheeks. Big. Booty it's storm, cheeks. right? It the uh, dual target is storm. Yeah, I think so. Um, okay. In my Discord, I uh -huh. have the uh, game announcements. You could check and see uh, what the bot sent out today. Oh, okay, sweet. Instead of me manually doing it, I just set up a webhook so it does it automatically. That's pretty cool. I'm trying to get one done for my uh, for when I upload or stream. That way, I don't have to manually do it. It just automatically does it. Yeah, I w I I've been wanting to get one of those too because I know Jay has one of those, and I'm like, dude, that seems like just so easy. You literally just go live and you're good to go. Yeah. Yeah, but how are you liking the alliance so far, far man? I like it, dude. I like it. It's pretty good. Um, have everybody been able to tell anything on war because I'm. It's just off season, but AQ. I mean, so yeah. far today it's moving faster than my last alliance. So, and we're and this is supposedly slower than than you guys. So, I, I'm digging it. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, man. Yeah, I I enjoyed these guys all last season. They're they're pretty easy going. Yeah, I like I'm liking it so far. Yeah. All right, let's. And then uh, the the leader is very helpful. Who who's the leader again? Uh, Jace. Jace. Okay. I heard the you talking about Megan Fox. Hey, hey Jay, what's up, Jay? <laughs> what's up, man? Heard yeah, we're talking. We're talking line. about uh, talking about how you have your your bot set up so that whenever you go live or or post something, it automatically just posts in your Discord. Yeah, man, that was a uh, yeah, that was a friend of mine who uh, set it up. It's really awesome. Um, yeah, it's super dope. Is it an actual bot or a webhook? I I don't actually know. I know Slayer know Slayer would know Slayer and Turk do stuff in the Futurism Society where it sets up all of our society promotions. Oh yeah, duh! I forgot about that. Yeah, the Body Boy. So um, yeah, you have to ask him. I see. I wonder if there's just an extension I can do and I just whenever like I post because it automatically posts whenever I go live in the society chat. So I want to see if there's an extension where I can just put that in my <laughs> discord and it just automatically does it for me through that bot. That's what yeah, I that tried to do with uh, I think the Futurism Society's Truco's bot, but it didn't work for me. Oh. 
Who do you guys use for the side event? I usually use Apocalypse, Cable, and Ghost, but my Apocalypse and Ghost... Well, I have 5-star Ghost, but I don't have Apocalypse right now, so I can't really run Cable. I do CGR, Beardo, and... Uh... Beardo's a good shout. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to do Ghost, Beardo... Dude, I don't have CGR, man. It's freaking pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, who's the other person I can use? I'm trying to think. What I might need. Probably just bring Hyperion so I have a uh, armor break on Cap. I think that's all I really need. Ghost is going to do most of the heavy lifting anyways. All right, let's see if I got lucky with some six-star shirt. Yes. All right, we're opening up a six-star. Let's oh, go. Nice. nice, dude. I was going to wait for a feature, but nah, I'd rather really just go for basics for now. I think I'll, I'll wait until the I'm next feature right. rolls out. Yeah. I, think I want Silver Centurion. Want future, uh, features right now. Oh, because you want a uh, Thrasher, right? And you can, ha you can get Silver yeah. Surfer? There's like 10 characters in there that I'm happy get getting, so like I'd be happy getting them multiple times too, so I'm yeah. not going to be, I'm not too upset if I like uh, miss out on a certain character because there's a good chance I'll get someone I like. That's how I feel for that for that pool of champions too, but I'm just like, that's like 5,000 extra shards every time. That's the only thing that's keeping yeah. me from doing it. God, you love to see Hyperion just wreck. I'm just dude, some of the steps, so I'm not gonna some, too much. No worries, dude. Some of these rewards on the paths are just garbage. Like one generic five star six stone. Like, come on. Really? I'd rather get gold than that. Yeah. The gold is a good chunk, dude. It's like fifty thousand. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's really good. I need Kokoa back. Yeah, I need that event. That was so good. Yeah, I know. The Mutant Treasure Island? Oh yeah. That was sick. Um, there is a spring cleaning event coming out next week, right? With Deadpool? I think so. That's where we're going to uh, be able to buy a bunch of stuff, right? With like units? Yeah, and I think that's what... The one star Deadpool last year came out, if I remember correctly. I think so, because I have the one star Deadpool. I think that's how I got him. Yeah, that's that's how I do. I, I was thinking when that was an event, so I'm wondering if uh, Deadpool will be back on the market this year. Probably. Especially I hate this Doctor Strange. Image. I hate this Doctor <laughs> Strange so much. Friend Doctor Strange? Yeah, Cap and his Petrifies is going to come in clutch right now, though. Okay. Yeah, there's a little bit delay on your strength, so that was wondering. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, this Doctor Strange is really annoying. Yeah, you just claimed the tier 2 alpha shards. Oh, crap. Yeah. Yeah, I see you going in the fight right now. Dude, how am I not- how can I not parry this guy? Okay. Oh yeah, Cap, dude. Cap makes it so easy because you don't have to worry about his power gain at all. Oh yeah, yeah, I always bring him in. Alright, we just secured that 6 star. Just work. <laughs> Come on a uh, SA all day. What'd you do, Brennan? I uh, worked on my little brother's car. Oh, nice. What oh, dang. What, what'd you have to do? Uh, we were doing new struts and new brakes, but like, we we were doing it at our uh, like at my dad's condo or whatever. 
Uh-huh. And normally we just do stuff at our like cabin up north, just like three hours away. It's like we could just do whatever the hell we want, make as much noise because there's not that many people around. Mm-hmm. But we didn't have all our tools that we normally have, so like I had to make like six runs to the store. It was pretty bad. Oh dang. So yeah, it, it took forever. <laughs> I'm actually getting my car fixed tomorrow. Whoa, somebody, hit, it? somebody hit me. Uh, so I'm getting it covered through the through, through their insurance because they hit me. So I'm taking it tomorrow. It's just cosmetic. It's just like scraped the whole side of my car, which is really annoying. But uh, as long as I don't have to pay for anything, I'm I'm happy. Nice. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Could have been worse. Oh yeah. Could have been way worse. Yeah. That was the first time I've ever really been in an accident, so I was like pretty mad about it. Especially it's like my new car. I've, all, I've had it less than a year. So. <laughs> I was pretty pissed. Dude, how am I getting wrecked by this plat pool? Platpool can be annoying, yeah, if he gets the right cards. Who's the boss? Please tell me it's not Jabari Panther. Okay, Storm Pyramid X, that's, not th that's easy. I think that's the only hard boss there is, Jabari Panther. Everybody else is just a pushover. Yeah. How much did she go for? Do you guys know? Uh, I think she went higher 15? than people expected. I think the five star was like 50 million around there. Yeah, that's that pretty good. Right. I wonder how much Silver Centurion's gonna go for. Yeah, yeah I'm going for one of the bundles, so hopefully we get them because I know you're going for them too. Yeah, yeah I, I hope. I hope I get him from the bundle too, so I don't have to grind for him, but I, I'm like 100% yeah. going to grind for him. I have so many like b uh, boosts that going to expire in my inventory, so I'm like, yeah, I might as well do it. That's awesome. I can't wait to see your both openings. I hope it's good, dude. Hope one of us at least get him. At least one of us. Oh, yeah. If it's going to be somebody, it's got to be you, man. I, <laughs> I hope so, but you're, you're celebrating something, so... You're gonna have that extra luck. I normally never have any crystal luck, other other than like one Cavalier crystal becoming a six star Nexus. Oh dang! Yeah, I saw that video, dude. That was kind of crazy. I didn't even get into Colossus. Nice. All right, Killmonger. Oh, this guy. Oh, that's right. I should use Ghost on this guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I intercept him a lot. Yeah. It's super easy with Ghost because you just get that extra uh, attack from Foresight. And the fatigue as well can help you heal. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, this guy's done. Sick. Yeah, we'll open up the six star right now too. I'm not gonna wait. And then we'll do some grinding because I need to start farming and stuff for Abyss. Cause I wanna I wanna hit it probably like around the 30th. Cause I have a good stash of units oh, right now. What's your team looking like? Uh that's what I was gonna see if you guys wanted to talk with me about it after this. 
This fight, we can talk yeah, about it. Because I have an idea of who I'm going to use. I'm just not set in stone yet of who I'm going to use. <laughs> Alright. I didn't hear you. If I can hear you yawn? No, I didn't hear you yawn. Okay, good. Alright, yeah, this, this Storm Pyramid X is in the bin. Now that I've been playing with Ghost at rank 3, I can see like the damage difference between the rank 5 and the rank 3. It's pretty significant. Okay, I will be able to get that featured 5 star tomorrow. I really hope I pull CGR from it. Alright, imagine I pull CGR right now from a 6 star basic. That'd be insane. Good luck! Did they tell you what uh, war pass you're going to have? Sorry for cutting you off, Jay. Um, I'm going to have 7. Pass 7. You're all good then. Yeah, that's not too bad, because you have a Warlock. Yeah, Pat 7 is... It's, I've been doing Pat 7 ever since uh, I was in Janex Alliance, so I'm pretty comfortable with it. Um, I was trying some last... No, not last war. The war before that, I tried a new team. Didn't work very well. Um, I think if they would have put actual defenders there, like a Havoc or something, it probably would have worked just fine. Um, but I was trying Cable... Apocalypse and Warlock, and I've I've able I've been able to use that team once on Pat Seven before, um, but it literally the the defenders have to be perfect for it, and um, I forgot who they placed there, and it just it didn't it didn't work. I actually I didn't take Warlock. I took Apocalypse. I took Apocalypse, Cable, and I think that's the reason why it didn't work because I didn't have Warlock because I took somebody else because I was testing another a different team. I forgot who was. But it should have worked, but I don't remember. I don't think I recorded it either. But yeah, Warlock Warlock literally can do most of uh Pat 7 by himself, so it's really it's really easy. He's gonna be my next rank three tech for sure. Yeah, he's gonna be mine too. Alright, let's get I into the six star crystal. First. <laughs> yeah, dude, taking a rank two man, he is a freaking beast at rank two. Yeah. All right, six star crystal. Let's go. Come on, something good. I'm gonna pet method it because I didn't do it last time, and I got. I've been. I'm just let you guys know. My six star look has been absolute garbage for like the past like ever since I stopped getting the featured crystals. These basics have been absolute trash. I haven't gotten anything good from them. All right, let's see. All right, and the spinner, come on, something good. Well, I saw CGR in there. I saw Archangel in there. I'd be happy with Archangel. Oh, man. What There's so many good champs in the, here. Uh, featured five star. What happened? Because you're getting it from here. What if you don't even need the featured five Dude, star? Dude, that would be sick. I, I'd be over the moon. It'd be worth it. It'd be worth the wait. All right, it tapped by itself. Come on, something good, something at least I can use, something usable. Oh, <gasps> oh my God! Uh oh. It's I'm happy with this. For me. I'm happy with this. Okay, slowing down. I don't want to ruin it for you guys. Oh, dude, oh hell yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that that's pretty solid. Hey, do you smell that? It smells like prestige. It smells like prestige, <laughs> dude. Now I just need to find a I need to find a way to uh to rank this guy up. Uh gamer boy in chat's a six star cable, yeah dude. Six star cable. 
Um, but yeah, I need a way to get this guy uh, awakened. Six star feature. <laughs> I know. It, it's honestly, it's like a, a hundred times more enticing now that I have him yeah. as a six star. Because now I can target that prestige. Before it was just kind of like an if kind of thing, because I'd have to get him first. But now I can actually target it if I really wanted to. Um, damn, that is a pull and a half. I mean, I'm I should be finishing up Abyss in in a while. I think I'm gonna wait because if anything, I'll probably use my Awakening Gem on him that I get. Because if I somehow pull Doom from my Mystic. Nexus from Abyss. I don't need to awaken him if I have Silver Surfer. I'd rather awaken Silver Surfer for prestige. Because mm -hmm. having Doom awaken for prestige is kind of like I don't really need it if I have Surfer. Since I already had the five, the five sixty-five, and even a rank three Doctor Doom doesn't really need the awakening anyways. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so let me pull up Path 3 real quick. Do I have it still on my... Okay, I do. I still have it on my screen. Okay, cool. Alright, so Path 3. We are looking at... Let me see. We got Darkhawk. Luke Cage. This is like the this is like the shortest path I think too. Um, Old Man Logan, Havoc. I wonder if Havoc's still bugged. Dormammu. If he's bugged, Aegon can do it easily, right? Yeah, Aegon shreds him if he's bugged still. Um, so Dormammu and then Joe Fixit, Mordo, Venom the Duck, Howard the Duck. Hyperion, Champion, then we got Red Skull, Bishop, Korg, another Havoc, another Champion, a Ghost, and Kor uh, Karnak. Um. So I think the team, so I think so far, let me, let, me, let me jump into Abyss real quick so I can just plan out this team real quick. Alright, so for sure we're gonna need Doom because Doom Janik was saying Doom can easily do that uh obviously the, the the cosmics, but he can also do the Red Skull. Bishop. The Red Skull and the Bishop, yeah. So Doctor Doom for sure is going. Um Aegon of course is going. Um Doom could work for Korg. Yeah. Doom could work for Tor uh, Torch is going because I have Dormammu, Mordo. Um, who else? I could probably I can use him on Old Man Logan as well. Who Torch? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you could solo I, that fight with Torch, I believe. Yeah, where's my Torch at? Actually, uh, I don't know if you can solo, but it can be a clean fight because it can do a reversal. I don't know how potent the heal is. Yeah, and I have Despair maxed out now, so... Oh, you'll be laughing now. Who else? Um... Oh, dude, I just ranked 5 my Morningstar for incursions. Nice. From the, the gem I got from Varian 7. Okay, so you got Doom, Aegon, Torch. Um... I forgot who Janik was saying for the Havocs, just in case he's not bugged. I I was I was talking about Colossus, but I think he said Warlock. He said Warlock was probably the best bet for the Havoc. Yeah, I would agree with that. And I think my last spot is probably... I don't have him right now because he's an AQ. But I think it's going to go to Magneto. 
then uh, who are you going to use uh, Magneto for? Darkhawk. Okay. Because I'm going to I'm gonna ramp up Aegon a little bit, like I did last time. And then finish him off with, mm -hmm. with Magneto. And then I could possibly... Okay. I can use Magneto for... Um, I could use him for... For Red Skull, too. Easily for Red Skull. Oh, but Killmonger I'll get power... Uh, no. No Killmonger. Okay. Yeah. I think I can use him for Old Man Logan as well. If I'm not mistaken. You can, because he is metal. Yeah. Let me... Ch uh, what's his... Let me check... There's like a, I think there's my, there might be a node where he doesn't reverse. He can't reverse his healing or something like that by normal means or something. You can't heal block him or something. Let me see. Okay, so let's see. Cause I used this guy last time. So it says best for Path Three Path Three best teams are the best team is Aegon, Torch, Doom, Warlock, and She Hulk. But I don't need She Hulk because I'm gonna use Aegon on um Luke Cage. That's literally the only fight you really need him for. Yeah. Yeah, I see those two champion fights, and my immediate reaction is CGR. Yeah, I wish I had him. Dude, dude if I had CGR, 100% he'd be coming. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping somehow I can get him before then. Because I will 100% rank him up and bring him, just to bring him. Uh, for, for, just to yeah. use him. So yeah, it says Havoc, you can use Warlock or Colossus. But I forgot, Ijanic was saying just to bring Warlock, because Colossus, I need a synergy... Um, and it's just a waste of a spot when Warlock can do it. Uh, it says, yes, yeah, it's all my Logan Void and Human Torch. So I'm guessing you can reverse the healing. So I get Magneto could work there too. Yeah. Um, Howard the Duck. You're going to use Magneto for Howard, right? Um, uh, no. no, I, I used, uh, um, wait, actually... It was Aegon, I think, for Howard the Duck. Oh no, I used Doom. Duh, I used Doom. I think. Okay. Or was it was it Magneto? Use, uh, I think you used Magneto there. Yeah, I, I think actually I think I did use Magneto last last run, and Magneto actually was really good for it. Uh, Doctor Doom will crush Bishop. Core, he, he Doctor Doom worked perfectly for Korg last time. Havoc would be Warlock again. Champion would be Doctor Doom. Ghost, Aegon, Kar Karnak, Aegon, Collector, Aegon. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. My last spot is literally just... I don't even really need to bring Magneto. Uh, Andy McPanny said I need help planning my easy, easy Abyss path. It's really easy planning that path, dude, honestly. There's so many champs you can bring for it. Um. So yeah, I think... I think this might be the team because Magneto is pretty good here. I know people are saying like to bring Heimdall for Aegon mm -hmm. because Magneto, I, I guess I really don't need Magneto for this path, but uh, oh, you know what? Let's test out. Let me test out this Darkhawk fight now that I have Despair at 3-3 because I remember last time I didn't do it because I didn't have Despair past 1. So let's try it out real quick. I want to see how how it is. Keep forgetting not to knock this guy down.
Alright, we should be able to get him this time. Oh yeah, I got a comic question to ask you once you're done. What's up? Um, so I saw that the um, the new danger room came out, right? Uh huh. And in the projection is Krakoa, right? We assume that there's like a mount, there's like a mountain which which shows a face, and it's uh -huh. Krakoa because of the portal, right? Yeah. But Gabe teased in like January of like a close up to like a, a raw character. Like it looks, it kind of looks the same as the projection in the danger room, but Gabe's saying that it's two different things so he's saying that there's more than one giant rock face in the marvel universe that's all i'm saying well maybe it might have it might have something to do with m rock to be honest yeah no no i, th I think it does uh i'm, I'm but they both look like krakoa <laughs> yeah they do uh, but he's saying they're two different characters which is interesting because he's saying it's almost like he's saying like there's there's more than one giant rock face so maybe there's like Krakoa in the contest, and then maybe Araku, but isn't Araku a part of Krakoa? Like, they're not two super entities? Mm, yeah, Ara well, Araku is... Isn't that just, like, a different, like, port, like, a different dimension, a different place? Yeah, it's displaced, but yeah. it's supposed... It's, it's It was once one island, and then they got split, because... It could, it could uh, be their interpretation on what, what it would look like, who knows? Okay. Could be pretty I cool. Ask. Yeah, it could I be pretty know, cool. I don't know what he's talking about. A one giant, a different giant rock base. So. Yeah, it could be pretty cool. I'll have to wait and see. Whenever that, whenever that will be. Because he he teased that how long ago? The the original rock base, like January, a good while ago. Year. January, okay. Yep, I've cataloged all his teases. <laughs> <laughs> My list is at 170 characters. Oh, dang. And yeah, I still have a lot to put on it. Alright, let us... I guess we're going to start revive farming. So, What's 5, up, 3... You guys can hear me now? Yeah, yeah I can hear you. My internet crashed. Oh no. It is what it is. It is. Uh Damn, who else did I bring on this pat old torch? Who else is gonna be good for farming in 5.3.3? It's all science, right? Petrify, armor break, weakness. Okay. So I have everything I need. And then I'll just bring. I don't have my Nido. Crap. I'll bring Colossus and a synergy partner. Omega Red. This trash boat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have him awakened, man, so I don't really get to see his full potential ever. Alright, let's see if I have anything. I don't think I have anything on these paths because I, this is where I gave up last time. I have a full energy refill. I guess I'll go for that. I really wish I could autoplay this. That'd be so sick.
I think uh, Slayer, he found like kind of a farming thing in Act 4. Yeah, it's the it's the old one. It's the Black Widow one. Black Widow quest. Yeah, it is, yeah. That's the one I used to do, and then Brendan found this one, and this one's pretty lucrative, so I started using this one. Yeah, I was just saying the other one you can auto fart. You can <laughs> oh, yeah, that one, that one you can auto play for sure. <laughs> you can auto fart. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, that one you can autoplay for sure. I, I used to do that <laughs> quite a bit. I used to have to I'm click little... though. Now I don't have to click. <laughs> I'm a little tired. That was funny. Yeah, I've been busy with school recently, so I'm kind of exhausted. But once I get all my assignments done, dude, I'm going to be going ham on the content. Nice. Have you done a uh, variant seven yet? Both of no, you guys? That's what I'm waiting to do on stream. Oh, okay. I have I haven't done it either. I heard it's pretty easy though, so that's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's not that bad. I uh, let's just put it this way: I was trying to use fun champs with like I saw backups that. <laughs> just in case, and I only used two revives. So if you bring in like really op champs, you'll you'll Breeze right through it. Um, I was like really, really wanting to use Agent Venom, man. It just, it just was not happening. Yeah, I was, I was watching you there. He, he did terrible. <laughs> yeah, he was absolute garbage, man. It was really sad to see. Yeah, you hate to see it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, so like people were hyping it up too before it came out. Yeah, I was so let down that night, man. My boy let me down. Which, by the way, I went to uh, Frankincense today by my house and I was able to pick up the King in Black issue 5 uh, Scotty Young cover. Because I wasn't able to pick it up before because nobody had it. All of a sudden, somebody had one left, so I picked it up. Nice. So I'm really happy I got that. Um, what What is the... You know, have you seen the back of it? The back of what? The back of like, you know how they have like an ad on the back? Yeah, let me see. I'll pull it out for you. Uh, I think X Cinema's telling me that there's like a contest. Ad. Uh, oh. usually, honestly, there's a there's there's been a lot of contest ads in Marvel Comics the past couple months. Okay. So yeah. this one, no, this one is a a Citizen Watch Venom Watch oh, okay. on the back. Yeah, but there might be a. Let me see. Let me open up the comic. There might be. Oh my God, the beautiful artwork in here, man. Yeah, it's it's so beautiful. So I own good. I own like four copies of this comic book. It's pretty awesome, man. Uh, yeah, I don't see any I don't see any contest ones in here. But honestly, there's there's been quite a few in the past couple months. I think uh, which one was it? There was a bunch the month that uh, Professor X and Apocalypse were. Were added to the game. There were like okay. there was a contest ad in like every single comic that I had. Yeah, was, yeah. You don't have to search for anything. I was just wondering. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I was just curious because I know when they do these, I'm kind of like. I mean, we got um, Kakroa, like Professor Rex. We got Apocalypse. We got CGR. We got Red Goblin. We got Immortal Hulk. These are like three comic plot lines that are pretty brand new. So I was curious on how how they're kind of marketing that. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm curious to see if if next month's leak champs are real, which I'm pretty sure they're real. Um, yeah. I'm really curious to see whether or not Shang Chi is based on comic on the comic or if it's more of his MCU style costume. Uh, yeah, that's true. I, I'm gonna assume MCU. Um, because they, they, they usually get the, um, they usually get the full on details. Like, yeah. I was reading the Art of the Battle Realm and they specifically say every time a movie comes out, Marvel Studios will send us over a early look of that character with like a 3D, right? Like they'll make 3D renders of it and everything. So they yeah. have full on details, everything. And then they'll even add their own details sometimes, but usually not. Cool. But Mr. Negative is kind of interesting. <laughs> Yeah, I know. He's. It's so cool because there's so many 
characters that have been brought in that are from like pretty like honestly mr negative is not an old character like you were saying like you can add them to that list of characters that you were talking about because mr negative yeah. is pretty recent like in the past like i would say five six years yeah and especially his popularity in the spider-man 2018 game yeah um so i from from a lore sense i'm gonna assume he's gonna be part of, he's gonna help he's gonna go around it's gonna be part of the cabal but mm. I don't see how it's gonna affect the MCU. I know they do like to tell their own stories. So yeah. Be interesting, for sure. So I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious to see how it's gonna go. Should be a dope champion though. I hope he has a, a synergy with Venom. Oh, why is that? Uh, cause that's kind of how he created Anti Venom, or that's how Anti Venom was created. Okay. Yeah. That's what. I, that's what I thought. They're pretty cool. That'd be cool if he buffed up Agent Venom. Kind of like Agent Anti-Venom. If he gave <laughs> him like... That'd be cool if they did something like that, but I, I doubt it. Khan yeah. just doesn't tend to, to get too in-depth with the comics when it comes to that kind of stuff. Yeah. I, I kind of hope they don't buff uh, Agent Venom that way. I, I don't like synergy buffs. <laughs> yeah, that way we can get an actual buff form later down the road. Oh yeah, you for know? sure. Like temporary, they're cool. Like the uh, Simio Spider-Man one with yeah. the Goblin. Yeah. But I don't like that as an excuse to say, "Oh, he's good with this synergy." That means we don't have to touch him. It's like, oh no, that's not how it works. Yeah. Like that's why I think Winter Soldier didn't get buffed. Like because we got yeah. Falcon buffed before the Winter Soldier, the Falcon Winter Soldier, but we didn't get Winter Soldier. I mean, he's yeah, you know, he's all right, but. Yeah, I, I seen some crazy numbers with that synergy, but I mean, again, that's a synergy. Okay, and yeah, no, I haven't seen too much on it. And um, he actually has a vibranium arm in game, even though like it's the same model from 2014. In uh -huh. the lore of the game, he actually gets a vibranium arm in the Infinity War a couple years ago, and they keep like it's a reoccurring theme that he has it, <laughs> but we ha it's not implemented in the game at all. Interesting. So. I need to tweet that out. <laughs> I wanna, I'm gonna. I've been waiting for the last episode to tweet out like a thread of like how they could have tied in Falcon and the Soldier besides uh -huh. besides deals. Since you have the uh, U.S. Agent Shield and the Collector's Collection, you have Falcon as the Captain America appearing in the comics of the MCOC, um, and then just a couple other stuff. And I, Elijah Bradley's Shield in the Collector's Vault as well. So it's just things that like totally hinting at something but still hasn't really come to fruition i think kufi got pay trading game too oh yeah. yeah god his story oh man dude it's so good man the show is so freaking good <laughs> yeah that show is really good yeah. really really good i cannot wait for this thursday I'm going to go off. <laughs> my uh, my combo guy is like promoting the hell out of like all the the Falcon Cap stories right now. So like <laughs> all the trades and stuff are like super cheap. He's selling them like really cheap. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. If I had if I didn't have them, like 100%, I would buy them. I actually bought volume one of the original, like his first time as Falcon, as, as Falcon Cap. And then the, the newer one by Spencer, I bought volume one just to have so that I can get them eventually signed or something at a comic con, just have an extra set. Thanks. Cause they were like, he was selling them for like five bucks. I'm like, dude, I have to pick up a second set of these for that, for that price. Yeah, that is cool. I'm uh, I'm reading uh, Red, White, and Black right now. Oh, uh, uh, okay. So oh, yeah, I'm, I'm catching up on some stuff. I didn't want to be. I didn't want to see. I don't want to see how it gets adapted yet. I want to experience it for the MCU and then kind of look back on the comic. Um, Fa Falcon is Captain America. He doesn't be. He doesn't stay it right because uh, I know for sure he doesn't stay. It, but it's right after Secret War sets everything. That's right. 
Yeah, he literally just stopped being Captain America like mm, not too long ago. Maybe like okay. a year, maybe like a year and a half ago, maybe probably like a year actually. Okay, so it sent him back as Captain America. Yeah. And then, and then the and then what uh, the Hydra. But I think, I think he's actually going to be Captain America again, at least for the. There's a comic coming out. It's called um, Captain America Through the Ages or something like that, and he's teaming up with Steve, and it shows him in his Captain America suit. So I'm hoping oh. it's more than just a cover. I'm hoping that he's gonna don the suit once again. Okay. But uh, we'll 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 see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I was uh, in the new episode. Obviously, he's you know he's training because he's he's got the shield. And I was like, dude, he doesn't have the serum, man. He's got to work twice as hard as these guys. So yeah, <laughs> yeah wait to, wait till you read the comics, man. They're 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 so good. They get into that like everything the show is getting into, dude. Like straight from the freaking comics. I've straight only from it. Him getting the mantle like him like cap giving him that super cool speech uh -huh. why he deserves it um so good yeah it's it's so they they did it justice man i remember like when they announced it too when he was when he was announced as captain america like nobody nobody really guessed it uh, everybody thought it was going to be uh, Winter Soldier or um, what do you call it? Nomad at the time. I don't know if you read those comics. Oh, the, yeah. yeah, everybody Zola. thought it was. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, Zola's kid. Um, everybody thought it was going to be him. Yeah, but uh, really when cool. it was Falcon, when it was Falcon, it was pretty awesome. Yeah, he wasn't, like, received as well. I think he wasn't really received because it's one of the things where comics, they've been, like, you know, Spider-Man, he's never going to change. He's going to be the same character he's always been. And yeah. it's one of those things where, like, they were changing it, and then I, and no one really gave it a chance. And then once they did, like, dude, this story is phenomenal, man. That's what everybody <laughs> said about Superior Spider-Man, too. People hated it at first. I, I loved it. I love yeah. Superior Spider-Man. I love, I love um, Pierce Spider-Man, Simi Spider-Man. I love when they change stuff about it. especially Spider-Man, one of the oldest characters. I mean, not the oldest, but such a staple character. Yeah. Which I think they're gonna get into in Far From Home. Or sorry, not Far From Home. I keep saying No Way Home. No Way Home. Yeah, It'd be cool, dude. Oh my God, no freaking revives. Just energy refill. Um, are you restreaming right now? Am I what? Restreaming? No, I'm only doing YouTube. I'm. I think I'm gonna go full on just YouTube from now on. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure how long it's. I'm gonna test out this week. I'm gonna test out this full week of just going YouTube and see how, seeing how it does. Okay. Yeah, I've. I know some people talked about it. Not really. Uh, you talked about restream stunting growth on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, I need to read more about it actually figure out how because i mean my stuff's doing better than usual as i'm growing my audience but i think that's just because i'm growing my audience it's not actually i'm not seeing how it stunts growth so i need to figure it out yeah i forgot it was uh i think katie was saying that she was looking into everything when she was doing restream and yeah. it was it was messing up her algorithm and her videos were doing really bad Okay, so so that's to do with the videos and not actually the streams themselves, right? So, yeah. Well, yeah, it's just it's not they're not um so what what she said is it doesn't um it doesn't recommend your stuff as much for some reason. And like the restream oh, yeah. messes up your your algorithm and your stuff gets less and less recommended. Because like I said like there was a couple videos that were like hitting on my channel like out of nowhere like the old cable videos were, were doing really well all of a sudden and then i started doing restream and it's almost like my stuff wasn't getting recommended anymore because my stuff wasn't being watched i know sometimes well usually streams don't get recommended that's one of those things it's like yeah that's it, not my that's my videos um because like what is it xander his uh grandmaster miles morales i get recommended that all the time <laughs> and i tell him I get recommended all the time, but it's only that single video that I get recommended uh, from him.
Yeah, I like honestly, I wish I could go full like Twitch, but it's just it's not possible. Yeah, it's not worth it either. Um, yeah, I'd wait. Yeah, definitely. The YouTube, I think CCP and YouTube uh, partner program are going to be two deciding factors when it comes to fully uh, going on one at a time. Like, but like, like, uh, worse the man. Like, he did. He does obviously has a YouTube channel, but you know, he'll just stream on Twitch whenever. Yeah. But, uh, since you don't produce that, those amount of videos, you only you usually do streams. So it's. I think you have to decide which one is going to be your platform of choice. That's why I think I'm I'm going to be churning out more videos. I'm going to try to do like two or three videos a week now, starting this week. Um, so I'll be I'll be getting on that, especially that I won't have my car for like a couple days. It should okay. it should uh, give me some some time to do some stuff at home. Yeah, man. Uh Brendan's been going ham on videos. I've noticed my, uh, my YouTube. Yeah. Videos. I haven't been doing too much. <laughs> yeah, I turned notifications on and I was like, okay, okay. And then like, bang, bang, bang. I was like, damn, dude. <laughs> I gotta get more uh, consistent. Yeah, I think that's that's that was my issue too, man. My consistency in the past like two months has been pretty bad compared to how I used to do. I used to stream like five days a week, like two three months ago, and this these past two months have just been like maybe three times a week, sometimes two times a week. So I want to change that, especially because I'm not uh, taking classes right now until until the fall and maybe summer. Oh. So I should really like. Oh, yeah. Buckle down on that. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna do the same thing as you're doing. Is like plan more videos because um, I, I I did like a lore stream just talking about Jabari there and Silver Tree before they came out. And I'm like, dude, that got like 200 views, which is not normal for me. Uh -huh. um, and I was like, okay, man, people are interested in the lore, and there's not that many people who do it anymore uh, compared to how they used to be. Like most people would give it up or say it's not interesting or whatnot. Yeah. I think the only person that does it is I lack like skills and I'm pretty sure yeah I know that's what I'm saying I'm pretty sure you can corner that market pretty easily yeah so I'm gonna put on some more videos me and Mr. King are working on an awesome document of kind of just showcasing the threats of the battle realm showcasing the infinity gauntlet you know a lot of people don't know you know it's an ISO 8 infinity yeah clause, not the 616 uh the infinity claw as well um you know, the Grandmaster kind of just explaining stuff that people might not know. And I think the Grandmaster and the Collector are actually missing right now because Karina sent them off to deal with their problems. So it's, uh, it's kind oh, of cool. Yeah. That, there's a lot of things that people don't know. And I think it's awesome to like uh, bring it up. People know. Dude, I'm really surprised. Like, there's no freaking revives here. No more revives. <laughs> no more Fortnite. You see that Fortnite's getting like huge sponsors? Like companies are putting bill a billion dollars. Are they Fortnite's the huge, Fortnite dude. Or Epic Games? Epic Games, sorry. Oh, okay. But, okay. for Fortnite specifically. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think it's because it's such a marketing thing right now. I mean, I'm mind blown that Sony IPs are going into that game. Yeah. Which, is which yeah. to me is crazy. I've been a Sony fan, like, literally my entire life. And I never thought I'd see the day uh, Sony IPs would be in a cross-platform game. <laughs> It is cool, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see that. Dude, it's Either it's literally the only game where you can play on a squad of Batman, Wolverine, <laughs> Doctor Doom, and Catwoman. <laughs> yeah, like, it's kind of crazy, and you can throw yeah. Snake Eyes in there if you want. Like, <laughs> yeah, it is cool. I, I was, oh, man, I would wish they would, because you know the same the difference is to put this in the game. For that game specifically, but oh man, dude, 
I really hope Marvel can set their differences because back in the 90s, man, you know, they had those Marvel vs. DC crossovers and they were so freaking cool. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, either a game, a comic series, a movie would be absolute fuck. Something would be so freaking cool. I just think nowadays it's way too hard to do something like that, like um, publishing wise. Yeah. yeah. Too much money involved between yeah. different people. Yeah. It'd be cool. It'd be cool, but... Oh, and someone said that Fortnite's literally becoming the Oasis from Ready Player One. <laughs> Dude, it is, huh? Yeah. Which, by the way, I've never seen that movie. What? Nah, i never seen it. It's a good movie. It's not the best, but it's pretty good. Did you guys watch Godzilla vs. King Kong? I did, yeah. Dude, so, was it just me or was it really hard to watch sometimes? Because you're just like, you're, you're really into it because I liked it. I liked it a lot. But sometimes it throws you off a little bit because you're like, you're like, dude, King Kong is getting his ass beat in like 90% of this movie. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was so I, mad. I was mad for him. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Like, every time this guy comes on screen, he's getting his ass beat. It's like they know King Kong. And Godzilla are like enemies, or like they're rivals or whatever. Yeah. And they know Godzilla's <laughs> on the run, and they're like, you know, what, let's drag King Kong against the or to the ocean, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> Why are you gonna bring the big monkey to I the know. ocean where like he can't fight? Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, dude. I saw the whole time watching that movie, I'm like, dude, King Kong is just getting his ass beat by every monster that just comes along. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was pretty bad. I, I like the movie a lot, though. Yeah, it was cool. It was just me being a King Kong fan, I was kind of like, <laughs> yeah. boy dirty. <laughs> yeah, man, I was rooting for him. I was like, dude, I, he's going to kick some ass. He's got an axe, too? I was like, bro, this is perfect. He's going to kick his ass. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm thinking. I was like, I was thinking that too. I was like, dude, they really had to get this guy a weapon, and he's still <laughs> yeah. getting his ass beat. He's still, he's still getting his ass beat. <laughs> he's got like the co he's got like Thor uh, Stormbreaker, and still getting his ass yeah. beat out there. <laughs> yeah, there's also a lot of parallels to uh, Batman vs Superman too. So, you know, oh, it, it is what it is. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what I said to my. Uh... My brother's when we watch it. I'm like, hey, this feels a lot like uh, Batman vs Superman. <laughs> they had their Martha scene too. Yeah. But it was a fun movie. Yeah, yeah. it was pretty fun. We had like a little neighborhood watch party outside. They someone someone set up like a inflatable projector, and we all watched it. It's pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah. I think the first movie I'll see in theaters, I'm going to wait till Black Widow comes out. Because I was thinking about going to go see Mortal Kombat in theaters, but I was like, oh, I'll just watch it on HBO Max and, and I'm yeah. going to wait to watch Black Widow as the first movie back. Because I'm really excited for that movie. Yeah, I, I feel 100% it's going to be packed, sure. Yeah. Which is uh, interesting. I think... I think I'll probably stay inside and watch it. That cameo in the in the in the recent Falcon Winter Soldier that that character will reappear in the uh, yeah Black Widow. And I hopefully Thunderbolt will be a kind of a tease in that movie as well. Mm -hmm. we really That's the whole Brown. the whole time I was thinking too. I'm like, dude, this this show got freaking postponed this long literally for that little cameo and like most people didn't even know what was go was going on with her so i'm like dude they could have easily put out this show a while back and i don't think it would have messed up any plans with yeah. black widow cuz it didn't really it didn't really mess up any plans right now so yeah <laughs> cuz uh yeah this show was supposed to come out first and wanda was supposed to come out way yeah way, like a year later so it'll be it'll be interesting and I'll say that the final episode takes place in New York City, so um, yeah, oh, hopefully get some cameos. 
My money, if there's gonna be a cameo by another Avenger, my money is on uh, War Machine. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I mean, he already had one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. My money's on War Machine. He'll, he'll have the biggest party with the government as well, since he was, uh... Yeah. Yeah, it really bothers me how people didn't like the last episode for, uh, like, the whole Cap and Buck... Oh, no, not Cap, uh, Sam and Bucky things. Oh, like the scene where they're talking to each other? Yeah. yeah people are like, stupid, that's why. Wait, wait, wait. What did they didn't like? People they said that... like the fact that yeah. two grown men were talking to each other about feelings, basically. What? They said that they said the dialogue was so bad, it was, like, cringe. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, no, it's just because you never see that shit, like, ever. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, it was, I, yeah, I loved it. It was great. Yeah, I liked it too. The the only thing, like, I've, I'm the only one who's felt this way, but I feel like sometimes the dialogue's a little bit rushed. That's my only, like, I feel like they get to the point super fast in, in conversations. So that's like, I ba that barely happens sometimes. That's the only thing I noticed. Yeah. But I don't know. That episode was freaking great. Like, it had all my favorite yeah. things about the show. World building, building up characters. Oh my goodness, it's such yeah. a great job. Oh my god, dude, his nephew's playing with the shield. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I know. I was like, uh, like I, me and my brother, you know, we're, we're big superhero fans, and that's something we would do. And even one of the nephews just tracing his finger on the star. That's something I've always wanted to do. <laughs> so it was, it was so good. All I know is, I know what's gonna happen. And I'm not, I don't really like the idea of it, but I have a really bad feeling that Sharon Carter is a power broker. That's what I'm yeah. saying, man. And I don't, I don't like that. I don't like yeah. it. I don't like it at all. It's, yeah, it's, it's a little bit, she's somehow, and even if you paid attention to it, looks, it looks like she sent Bar Bartrock. Batrock, yeah, she 100% Batrock. Yeah. She sent Batrock to them. So yeah. like. That pretty much confirmed that she was a power broker, and I'm just, I don't, I don't like that at all. That's the only gripe I have with the show is her as a power broker, because power broker is his own character, you know? Like, Agent 13 is Agent 13, and that's the only thing that I can say I don't like about it. But I mean, it's not something that I could say like, oh, I hate the show. Like, it's just a little tiny gripe I have. It's not, not anything big. Yeah. Yeah, so it's all it's it's interesting because you know she was this character and they kind of like obviously we haven't seen her in forever and they bring her back as like a totally different character almost just as like her ambitions are different her place in the world's like way bigger I mean she's the top of Mantra for yeah like that, that's that's interesting true intentions are I'm going to just waste my energy here and then I'm probably gonna get off for tonight. Uh, and then do some more tomorrow because I think I'm gonna stream again tomorrow. Because nice. uh, I need to, I need to stream at least four to five times this week. Because I need to get some revive stashed if I'm gonna go into the abyss in two weeks. For sure. Oh, I forgot to bring somebody for petrify. Damn it! Yeah, I'm an idiot. If, if you if you spend on the. Um... Deadpool event, maybe that'll help you as well. Yeah, true. I I hope there's some kind of revive event or something like that that I can get some extra revives. Right now, I'm at like... I think I have like 16 or 17 revives and then I have... Or level 1 revives and I have like a couple of level 2 revives. And I'm probably going to shoot for around 60 to 70. So I need about 50 to 60 more revives in two weeks, which is manageable. I've done it before. Uh, as long as I get like five to six revives a day, I, I'll be I'll be totally fine. But yeah, I'm excited for the Silver Centurion Early Access Bundle, man. I want this guy so bad. It should come out Thursday because we get it a week before the release of a new champion. So, it should come out Thursday. Nice. Some champs don't get early access bundles, but I'm I'm almost certain Silver Centurion's gonna get one. 
That would suck if we didn't. Yeah. Especially because he's a Kabam, or uh, like, creation, I'm pretty sure he's gonna get one. Yeah. Especially because Jabari Panther got him. Usually, the if the first champ gets it, the second champ will get it, so... Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think he'll get it. I know some people weren't a fan of what they saw in his kit. I think he's gonna be solid. I don't think he's gonna be like game changing, game breaking, or anything, but he's gonna be pretty cool. He's gonna lot of, he's gonna have a lot of DPS, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I can, I can see that. I, I, Dude, I'm if I can pull him as a six star or something, <laughs> I might switch out Magneto and bring him to Abyss literally just for fun. Because uh, Magneto, I really don't need. If I play Torchlight against that Darkhawk, I don't really need Magneto for much else. Because if his DPS is not bad, I can use it. Dude, I wanted to pull Crossbones too. Um, I was hoping for Crossbones too, but... Doesn't look like I was going to get him either. So I wanted to bring him into Abyss. Not for this path, but maybe another one. That'd be cool. I literally cannot pull CGR, uh, I bomb, or crossbones. Those are the only the only three champs I haven't gotten another feature, and I've opened a bunch of those features already. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I was just thinking about uh, Sharon Carter being potentially the power broker. Uh -huh. And didn't they say that the power broker's angry with uh, the Flag Smashers because of the serums? Yeah. But she's working with them right now, getting them that guy to bring the weapons and all that stuff. It could be yeah. like a double cross kind of thing. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. It could be. And that might be her ticket into the U.S. as well. Like, and she's definitely playing both sides. <laughs> Help them. Yeah. Help no, yeah. she's definitely playing both sides. I, I, don't, I personally don't think she's going to be the power broker, though. I hope so, dude. I really hope so, man. <laughs> some, dude. some dude I watched on YouTube made a really good point to why she isn't the power broker. She's just someone playing, or, you know, playing the field for her benefit and not anyone else's. Because, yeah... I don't know. I'll find the video and I'll send it to you guys. Okay. Yeah, but uh, I, I really hope I really hope it's true, man. I really don't want her to be a power broker. Um, but yeah, the thing that's gonna do do it for tonight's stream. Um, I got one revive, <laughs> but I was only revive farming for like twenty minutes, so I'll be able to do a lot more tomorrow i might actually do potions first because i need to get some injury refills because i only have four injury refills right now and i'll get injury refills in this quest but i like having a good stack before heading in here and i don't want to spend any units because right now i'm at 3100 i'm hoping by the time i go into abyss i'll be at like 35 that's the goal because there's a lot less fights. I think there's like four or less fights than than the other than the other least amount of fight path. Because this this path is like super short on fights, so that's gonna save me a couple of revives right there alone. Because there's no real like super hard fights on this one. I mean, Luke Cage is gonna cost me about ten revives. Darkhawk, maybe two. If I'm unlucky. Dormammu should be one at most if I don't solo. Uh, Havoc shouldn't be bad with Warlock. So yeah, this, should, this shouldn't be too bad. I don't see anything too crazy here. Because um, yeah, it's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 18, it's only 18 fights compared to the other ones I think are like 22. And I think I might have overcounted one. So I think it's only like 16 or 17 actually. It's not yeah, it's not, bad. Yeah, it's not bad. This is, the, this is the shortest path of them all. 
Because I, I heard that apparently some people do path three first because it's the shortest path as their easy path, which is weird, but. Yeah, I mean, I guess it makes sense. Less fights. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks for jumping on call and talking. No problem. About everything that we talked about. Comics. <laughs> Falcon and Winter Soldier. Abyss. I thought it was cool having you guys on call. Uh, what's your guys' uh, schedule this week? You guys going to be streaming at all? I might stream tomorrow night. Okay. Uh, I'll be there for both years. I'm, I'm really busy. Okay. I want to do incursions soon too because incursions just reset. So oh, yeah. if you have time this week, Brandon, we don't even need to stream it. Just let me know if you want to run some incursions. All right. Yeah. And then um, what was I gonna say? Um, you could also get some content from the incursions if you want. If we don't even stream it, you could uh test out some characters if you want. Yeah. If you want to do that too, we just do like a, we could do like sector seven or even sector eight and just bring in just random ass champions to have some fun with i don't mind yeah that'd, that'd be pretty cool i do need the six star shards yeah same so that's what i'm saying yeah we can do that because if we can we can have fun with some champs and still make it 10 rooms so yeah yeah for sure all right guys i will i will talk to you tomorrow then yep all right good night have a have a nice night, night everybody dude. All right, stream. That's going to do it for tonight. Uh, thank you for everybody for being here. If you could drop a like, sub, anything, I'd appreciate it. I will see y'all tomorrow.